A couple of weeks ago, I was really struggling to write a blog post. I tried four times over five days and just nothing. Blank page after an hour of staring at the screen every single time. And, and I don't normally have this problem. So the question became, what was different that week? And then I sat down for an interview with Corey McComb where I was recording for the upcoming season five of my podcast, Beyond Networking. Corey is a writer and a thought leader on the topic of productivity, but specifically, how to stop being productive and start being human again. Corey delivered a magnificent TEDx talk last year entitled Productivity is for Robots. And during our conversation, he said this. Burnout, the more that I've written about and focused on burnout, it's, it's easy to believe that burnout stems from doing too much. But in my experience and talking to a lot of people, when you really get down to it, burnout typically stems from neglecting the one or two things that you know you should be doing, but just aren't. And for me, that was creativity. So I wasn't scratching my creative itch by writing or living up to these, this, um, this creative idea that I've, that I've had, because I've knew from years before how great it felt to be creative, how satisfying it was to write, how to share work. And when I stopped doing it because of too much business and too many other things happening in life, that's what really dried me out and, and, and made me feel um, just dark. Ding, 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 ding. It was the first week of 2022. I just came back from an unprecedented two week vacation during which I did literally no work at all, which meant that my first week back was overflowing. Every single day was packed with wall-to-wall -wall coaching sessions, prospecting calls, catch-up calls with colleagues and collaborators, and just endless editing. So what was missing? Space. In his TEDx talk, Corey argues that we should waste more time. And he's right. I usually carve out 30 to 60 minutes every day for dead time, you know, time when I'm not doing anything in particular, or I'm doing something mindless, like playing video games or going for a walk or just sitting on the couch to let my mind wander. And it's in those moments where the subconscious gets to work, solve problems and piece things together. That's when blog ideas hit me. And it's when new projects and programs occur to me. They don't materialize out of thin air. They're not sent down from the heavens. They're in us all the time. But they need space to become coherent in your mind. So as I learn this lesson out loud, I hope it inspires you. What are the one or two things that you should be doing right now? And how can you prioritize them? And by the way, if you're new here, my name is Brian Miller. I'm a former professional magician turned author, speaker, and consultant on human connection. And if you wanna stop cringing and start connecting, I've got a great resource for you. Seven ways to talk to anyone without looking like an idiot. You can get it right here at softskillsarehard.com. And if you wanna dive deeper into productivity and creativity, click the video on the screen right now.